ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the second edition of Friday Night Spandau! With your host, The Wrestling Shuffler! So sit back, relax, enjoy the show, and find your family and friends to have fun around the internet. So without further ado, let's start spinning our wheelie and spin down! So to start off the show, we had our first match with the Hound Dog Dean Ambrose against the Irish Ronald McDonald Sheamus for the United States Championship. The thoughts about this match? Let's spin our wheel of spin down to discuss that out. Let's see what the wheel has for us, shall we? Spin, 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 as we're going to find out what's crawling in three, two, one, and stop! What was freaking bad about this match is that Sheamus defeated Dean Ambrose. I didn't know what the hell the WWE was thinking on making Sheamus the United States Champion. He ain't to squat. Dean Ambrose, the Hound Dog, deserved that title more than Sheamus for his hard work. Sheamus is just a pet project for Triple H's group. I'm sick of it, and quite honest, you should be too. But let's not that spoil my fun. Let's check our second match. In this one, we had a tag team match between Balot and Antonio Cesaro against the old same show. RVD and Maggie Langson. What's the talk behind this? Let's spin, 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 spin that wheel of spin out. This won't be long. I hope so. This wheel of spin down sometimes gets on my nerves. I hope we finish this right in three, two, one, and right now. And right now, maybe now, maybe later, now, 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 and let's now. Ah, fuck yeah, one bar news ballot defeated that yellow piece of green buffed Kofi Kingston wannabe Becky Langston. He is great. Ballard and Cesaro with Paul Heyman, the one behind it, 21 and 1, defeated that all weed up RVD and Kofi Kingston on steroids, Biggie Langston. I have nothing to say against this match, but a good freaking tag team match. Let's move on. In this third match, we had the Jamaican African sensation Kofi Kingston on against the Bulgarian Bruiser residing in Russia accompanied by his art yet hilarious manager Lana. What's my thought about this match? Why not check the wheel? Yeah, let's spin the wheel! Come on wheel of spin down! Don't fail me now! As you usually do. Was it okay? Was it freaking bad? Or was it oh god why? I hope this gets sooner or later. And three, two, one, and go! Ah it was freaking short this match. This match was horrible. Kofi Kingston deserves a lot more than he got. Alexander Rusev, my buttocks. She, he is not a big star compared to Lana. Lana should be facing Kofi Kingston. Her screams, her Rusev crash should make Kofi Kingston dying of laughing 
and put him in submission and all that stuff. Kofi Kingston deserves better than what he got. That's my old thought about this match. Freaking shorts and freaking bad. Next, we add. In this tag team match, we had the reptiles, the serpents, Emma and Santino Marella against Jericho's alter ego, Fandango, and sweet, sexy looking Patamlas Layla. The thoughts behind this match? Let's check our wheel. I wonder what this will stop. Uh, it was okay. The part that was okay was uh, the match in general between Emma and Santino versus Van Dago and Layla. The part that I really love, love the most, although maybe faked, but. Ooh, I would love to trade lips with Lane Layla's uh, up and downward lips. Ooh, man, Layla is so hot. Oh, god damn it. Oh, damn you, Van Dango. You piece of monkey crap. Oh, why can't you share Layla with me? I want your both of your lips, Layla. Oh, I want you! I want! 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 Okay, I'm getting a little too excited here. Next match we have. So in this match we had the Samoan assassin Roman Reigns against the world's strongest brother Mark Henry. The result of this match. Let's spin our spin down wheel. Yeah, that's what I do. So right now we're gonna spin this wheel. Spin like uh like that thing on the Chuck Berry song. Spinning top. Yeah. I know my vocab. Was this match good? Okay. Freaking bad, or whatever. We are right now. Oh God! Why did Mark Henry all of a sudden turn he like that? I mean, this isn't making any sense. Is Mark Henry heel? Is Mark Henry face? Because in this promo, he appeared very heelish to me against Roman Reigns, man. But I'm afraid it's no big deal. Roman Reigns just put off his assassin looking spear and assassin looking sub Superman punch and his Samoa drop. To Mark Henry's old nation of domination buttocks. Right now we have a tag team match between Los Matadores and El Torito. Wait a minute. Versus Free and a Half Man Band. Wanna know my thoughts behind this? Let's check our spin down wheel. Okay. What's gonna be the result for this tag team bull right? Was it freaking yeah awesome? Was it okay? Just a bit just okay? Freaking bad? Or oh god why? Let's see pretty soon now. It only takes minutes, seconds, or whatever. Okay. I'm gonna stop right about now. Um uh, freaking bad corny stuff between Los Matadores and the free end and metal band, whatever. Uh, I think El Torito 
versus Hornswoggle is getting a bit too repetitive. That match so should be only on pay-per-views in order to create a more exciting moment. But you have Los Matadores display all the time with, with El Torito. That just doesn't work for me, that's all. Uh, right now, after that, we have a match between Seth Rollins against the Evolution's Animal Batista. What's my thoughts on this match? Let's see the wheel. Okay, let's... What's the wheel gonna bring us? Was this match okay? Freaking bad? Oh god, why? Or fuck yeah, let's hear it. This won't be long now. This is gonna finish off in three, two, two and a half, two and three quarters, two and nine quarters, and right about now. Uh, yeah, it was okay. Seth Rollins bringing the fight, but he's uh, still proves he's the animal. I especially like like the finish. I think that brought real, r real realism to the match, the fact that a guy like Seth Rollins and Batista, Seth Rollins didn't fall immediately to the Batista bomb, that was neat, I thought. Um, not much to say about this match, I believe that Seth Rollins, just like Dean, Dean Ambrose, really proved that they can sell uh, physical pain in a match, like most of you think that uh, Dolph Ziggler is a best seller, uh, in my belief, even Seth Rollins sells better than Dolph Ziggler. Uh, right now, before I start, we have our shout out of the moment belongs to. It appears a lot of you YouTubers and viewers are sick of seeing people talking shit without any kind of sort of contact into him. If you're tired of seeing people talking shit and want to see people who talk some real shit, then you check out my man Sergio Flores in his YouTube vlog channel. If you like vlog channel and you like keeping real, keeping the real, brothers, they like to speak out in a serious and real way and then I suggest you subscribe to Sergio Flores vlog channel because not only does he talk some real shit, but I believe that he is the shit. Praise to you, brother. I hope you continue to do what you do. In our main event match, we have the Swamp Riot family against the Tag Team Champions and the, U and the Samoa Nusos and the captain of Thugonomics of John Cena. My thoughts about this match. To finish off, let's just do like we always do. Spin our wheel of spin down. I don't know about you, but I sometimes making these I get tired. These take a lot more work than you think. So be happy that I gave you this labor of love. Or show me some love. By subscribing, talking about wrestling, you know, all that say all that good stuff. Now, what's the thoughts on this match? We'll see sooner. What was freaking bad about this match was the fact that John Cena wasn't pinned in this one. I don't freaking get it, man. The Wyatt family are supposed to break down Cena in pieces. And why in these kind of tag team feuds always uh, one of the less important people, like one of the Usos, get jobbed? Cena isn't wearing any title around here. The Usos are in the tag team titles, so I not Cena get 
uh, to, to say one, two, three, you know? That's what I thought. I thought that was the point of this. I, I thought that was freaking bad in this uh, quite good match between the Swamp Wyatt family and the Usos and John Cena. Right now, thanks. thank you very much for watching this edition of Friday Night Spin Down with your host, the wrestling shuffler. If you like this kind of game, if you like this kind of game games from me, join the club. Share your thoughts, your comments, your cards, whatever. Spread the word about my channel. Share it. Give give me some love. Give all of my work some love. Right now, this has been Friday night spin down. And all I have to say is, see you next game by me, the Wrestling Shuffler. See you later. Yeah.